Kreisky here. Uh, a number of you have been asking me about the instrumental at the beginning of Slowly Burns My Skin, which is the opening track on the Jackson Williams CD live in session. Um, it started out as an instrumental piece that I wrote and it, I developed it into a, a band song in the end. Uh, but it has this beautiful little um, sort of one minute instrumental before the band kicking at the beginning. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little lesson on it and talk about the tuning that I'm in. It's not overly difficult to play, it might sound like it is, but in my usual style, uh, it's usually pretty easy. So, the tuning I'm in. Uh, starting at string number six, we're on E. I bring the A string down a half tone to a G sharp or an A flat. The D comes down a fair bit, all the way down to a B. So a tone and a half down to a B. We lower the G string down to an F sharp, B remains as it is, and then we lower the E to an E flat. Capo on seven, obviously my trusty G7 capo, uh, available from the Ski Guitar and the Jackson Williams shop on both Instagram and Facebook. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna buy the world's best capo with either a Jackson Williams or a Ski Guitar logo on it, they are available, and like I said, I'll post a link below perhaps. Okay, so we've got our trusty G7 capo, at fret number seven. Uh, and we're working really around three chord shapes. So maybe we'll start with showing you what the chord shapes are. So the first chord, we take our middle finger, we place it on fret number four on string six. That's the lowest string, string nearest to our head. Then we go, it's fret number three with our index finger, and then back into fret number four on the D string with our ring finger. So that is very similar, you may know it. It's the same shape as a B7 chord or a D7 chord. It's just that seven shape. Um, it doesn't create a seven in this tuning, but it's a shape with, you know, most guitar players would be familiar with if you're playing standard tuning. So four, three, four, all the rest open. And we just pick through those. Just arpeggiate back and forth as high as the B string, okay? Next chord, relatively easy. Uh, it's literally second fret, second fret, second fret, all the rest open. Arpeggiate through. And the third chord, literally one finger. But we hammer that on. Hammer up to four. So we hammer on at two. This is on string three, the G string. And then I do these pull off four, two, O. Oh, and then roll up on the D string, string number four, O, two, four. Roll off. Okay. Now we introduce the high string. We introduce another finger now into this chord. So we're two, 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 open. Then we go back onto two here with the ring finger. That's on the B string. Come up to four. Up to four, down to two, hammer roll, pull. Then we just start walking up a scale then on string three, our G string, so it goes hammer on to two, hammer on to four, slide to five, slide to seven. So I'll put that in context, that would be rolled up on the third finger you're just going to want to pull that back to fret number five throw this finger on fret number four on the B string that's it then we do a little pull off here at fret number three back to here same riff same again here so we're going hammer two hammer four Slide five, slide seven. Uh, and then on the final pass through, uh, the chord is open from string five, open on string four, fret four on the G string. Sorry. It's open on the A string, fret four on the D string, fret two on the G string, open, open. 
again. And I do actually play that final bit all the way through that I pick that, but I'm not final. I'll just use my thumb using little rest strokes. So, uh, if you want to learn how to play that, hopefully there's enough information in that video. If not, send me a message, guys, and I will absolutely happily answer any questions for you. It's great tuning. Play along with it anyway. It's a little bit limiting. You know, it's only good for maybe sort of four chord songs, I suppose, four or five chord songs. Uh, but I've had a lot of fun with it. I've written two or three songs in this tuning. Uh, I've also arranged um, a very famous folk song, uh, a contemporary modern folk song, uh, in this tune in which Jackson Williams will be releasing soon, certainly probably before the end of the summer. It's nearly finished. Uh, yeah, and it's sounding good. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, do leave me a comment. I hope you found this useful. If there's anything uh, I haven't covered in there, if I've missed something, just let me know. You know how you're getting on with it. And yeah, enjoy it. See you soon.